Hey there. Today I'm going to continue along in our little series we've been doing on this guy and show you how I'm going to do his hair. I'm just going to be using this kind of wintry white type of hair for him and I'd like to kind of give him at least some mutton chops and I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do the rest but I'll just show you the process as we go. So I know I want to do some mutton chops so I'm going to just pull off some pieces here. and kind of decide how I want it to look. And then all I'm going to do is just run some um, glue right along here, along the back of his head right there. And the kind of glue I'll be using is Fabri-Tac. Alright, so I have it going about right here. And I want to kind of, I'm bunching this up just a little bit here so it's going to make it kind of poke out a little bit like that. There we go. He's going to be cute. I think I'm going to add a little bit more um, in pieces right here so he's got fuller mutton chops too. All right, we'll repeat it for the other side. I've kind of trimmed this side so it's all open and a little bit more bushy. Do the same sort of look. I'm going to take this bushiness out a little bit. And if you want to press down further on the hair without making it get all matted, you can use a toothpick like this. I'll just do some shaping of that and maybe trim it away a little bit so it looks more like this other side. All right, here's what we've got so far. I kind of trimmed away a little bit of the ear. I needed to do a little bit more because I want those cute little ears to still be showing. And I, I want to trim his beard just a little bit more, but right now we have this bald spot in the back. And so what I'm going to do is I created this double layer that I'm going to put back here and kind of fan out a little bit with some glue. But I'm going to then let this front piece kind of come down and give him just, you know, a little bit of hair on top like that. So that's the plan. There's some cute little hair on him. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for a hat yet. I'm going to do a stocking cap or what. I'll show you next how we do the eyebrows. So this mohair um, is a natural fiber and as such it can be felted. And so for the eyebrows usually what I do is I just take a little piece of the mohair and you just kind of start rolling it together like this. You can even wet your fingers a little if you want. And then it'll stay together even better. So you get a brow basically like that. And then you can glue it into place and then trim it however you want. That's how you make a brow. Alright, so here, here's how he's looking. <laughs> I kind of like the distance on that except that's his eyebrow. So. We're going to go ahead and trim that off. Just kind of like that. Give it a little bit of tuft there. I might do a little bit more gluing with that. That's pretty much how you get those eyebrows on there too. Isn't he cute looking? So now I can go back here and kind of spread this apart just a little bit more. If I think it's too thick I could pull some of the hair off. And then I can give him a haircut kind of the trim it the way I would like it trimmed as well. And that's how you give this little elf a great hairdo. Alright, here he is. I added another layer on the sideburns just so they'd be a bit wider. So I think that look is going to be really, really cute to have it be nice and dark like that. So it's just a brighter white. And then, um, I think I did just a little bit more back here, just kind of filled in the spots a little. I put a little bit more on top so that would be a little bit wider also. And so now what I'm going to do is go through with a little bit of triple thick on my brush and give his lips a little bit of moisture, a little bit of a wet look there. 
and then also on his eyes. And this just makes your doll have a little bit more of a, a more lifelike feel to it to add in the wet parts. All right, I got a little bit on his eyelid. So what I'm gonna do is just take a toothpick like that. You see how that just really, really brightens up his eyes. If you add more than one layer, you wanna make sure that the layers dry thoroughly in between. There, that looks so cute. That's how you give your doll some finishing touches and a nice mutton chop hairdo.